Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back once again to Tech of Tomorrow for another edition of Tech News. That's right, so what's going on? We'll check it out. Top stories this week start off with MSI doing a refresh on their GX Destroyer laptop series. Now, these things are gonna be pretty awesome. They're gonna have the two models that are coming out, the GX70 and the GX60, and those are gonna only be like the only two models I think currently right now that we're gonna see with all of the bells and whistles. They're gonna contain A10 processors, and they're gonna contain R9 290X graphics. So picture that, A10, 290X all in a package that's going to be red and black with their Dragon stuff, and it's gonna have some really cool stuff. Has their Dragon Gaming Center, the GDC, and this stuff's totally cool. Offers a lot of different options, things like totally monitoring your computer, telling you when it needs new drivers, how hot it is, what's up with all the stuff about it. Now, the GX70 is gonna have a 17-inch monitor. The GX60 is going to have a 15-inch monitor. There's a lot of other specs that are out there, but these things are gonna really kick ass. So might be a little bit pricey, but they're gonna be really cool. There's also some other unique things about these things that are coming out as well. So if you guys are interested in this and wanna see more information, check out the full story over on our website, www.techofdemorrow.com. At the end of the video, I'll do a roundup and we'll talk about it all and all the information like usual will be down in the description. So what else is going on in the news? Okay, everybody out there knows Call of Duty. Now there's gonna be some changes now. The last time this thing's been going, going around, they had a bunch of different developers that were involved, but they're gonna change things around quite a bit. So let's talk a bit about that. Activision Blizzard has now announced as part of their 2013 Q4 report that one of the largest franchises, Call of Duty, will now be developed in three year cycles coming from three different developers. Currently, COD has been getting released from two alternating developers. Treyarch, who is responsible for World at War and Black Ops 1 and 2, and Infinity Ward, which was responsible for Modern War Warfare 1 through 3, and most recently, Ghost. Though several team members left after MW2, while 3 and Ghost were co-developed with Sledgehammer Games. Well, as of now, Sledgehammer Games has graduated to being in control of its own COD series, and will be responsible for the release later this year. Treyarch and a reformed Infinity Ward will continue their current series Black Ops and Ghost, meaning that each game within the series will now have a development time of 3 years rather than 2. This innovation will hopefully bring a bunch of new things into the game, breed new blood, and hopefully make the series even better than it ever is. Me personally, I'm not the biggest COD guy. I think it's more of a console game. Whenever it ports over, the graphics aren't that really that great. Maybe things will change in the future. We can hope so. At least, hey, I hope so. Now, last story up. Chromebook, Chromebox, all these things are hitting the market and now Asus has their own take and their own product coming out starting at $179. Asus announced they will be releasing their own take on the Chromebook with three different models starting at $179. The Asus Chromebox will allow users to access the Chrome browser and store 100 gigabytes on the Google Drive space, which connects via the dual band 802.11 ABGN Wi-Fi. All the models will be packed 4.88 by 4.88 by 1.65 inch boxes, a nice little square, and include Intel integrated HD graphics, two or four gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, 12 gigabyte SSD, HDMI out and display port out with the option for dual monitors, four USB 3.0 ports, one LAN port, one Kensington lock, Bluetooth 4.0, and a two-in-one -one card reader. A lot of people have been going on about these new Chromebox and all these things. For me personally, I'm wearing my PC in my living room. I have an HT PC, so this kind of product isn't like for me. But if you're somebody out there who's into this, you know, starting at $179, if you just need something to basically surf the web and do that kind of stuff, it's small, it's gonna look cool, and hey, it's from ASUS, so it's gonna be pretty cool stuff. You guys know that. Now, I don't know if you guys happen to be following the channel, but we also did a full review of the brand new Gigabyte WinForce R9 290X card. So if you guys happen to miss that, make sure you guys check that out here back behind me. Like usual, all of these stories are over on our website. We have full articles. So if you guys are interested in you know, feeding your brain more technology and want to check these out, you guys can hop over to the website and do all that. All the information will be down there below that like button, which you can hit if you so feel like doing so and giving us some love. And that's about it, man. I'm Elric. If you're not subscribed, do so. That way you won't miss out on any of the action here on Tech of Tomorrow. Peace out, friends.